All right. My take on Assassin's Creed Black Flag Part 2. Um, some things they could have given you, like weaponry and stuff, um, would have been nice. Like, I noticed you could get throwing knives. Um, that was one thing. Two, they needed to give you a diver's knife, which I thought was, which they could have given you. Um, a grappler, like, um, you know, like one of those things you, you throw and it has like, and it can, you can scale walls. Um, in Assassin's Creed 3, you get that. And in, and, and in Black Flag, you don't get it. Um, of course, it really bugged me that you didn't get that. Um, however, you did get the rope dart very late in the game. I did, didn't think that was, I didn't thought that was really bad. Um, I also feel like you should, when you start out, you should also be able to have at least 25 guns per side. Um, at least. Um, that way you can get bigger ships in the very beginning and bigger gains of money. And I also feel like you need to have more outfits. Especially like how it has in like San Andreas. Um, I felt the story was kind of lacking. Um, I felt like they were searching for the observatory and by like you find out that um, that Bartholomew Barth Roberts shows you what it does and then um, that Spanish guy you go back to it and he didn't know anything about it because he played stupid and didn't know anything about it until he was introduced to the sta sa sage earlier in the in the game. I find that how would he have the power to to know and gain access to the thing when he was never told about it? That's another thing that they left out was a major big there were some major details that were taken out. Another thing the the killing of of Caroline Scott. I thought this was a very emotional point in the story, I guess. Um, and he didn't know anything about it. Um, I thought, um, as far as that goes, I feel like he should have been told or should have been said something or she should have came and seen she seen him um and there should have been more more aspects of him finding out where he was and there wasn't that much um the sticky notes were pretty easy to find they're pretty much scattered everywhere around in a in a um, sturgo industries they're pretty much easy to find it's just it, some of them are a bitch to get to, and I would kind of also recommend them being out more out in the open instead of them being all locked up. That's another thing. I just feel like that the custom. I think I feel like the knife is would be an important thing for like shark attacks, um, and for for um at least in my perspective. Um, for when you're doing, um, and when you're going into the, the smuggler's dens would be a big one. I actually would think that would be a key thing, because you should never go in unarmed with a gun, with, without a gun, um, in a smuggler's den, because you're having to use your fists, and you get no gun, guns, you have to basically choke people out, and it's like, it's no fun, man, it's, it, I'm always dying. Um, unless you creep up, 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 up upon somebody, it just depends on how you do it. But it seems like I was always getting killed, and it just, it, it doesn't make any sense. It's like, have a game that actually makes sense. And then, you know, have a game also that's, you know, open to everything. Let the person explore the game. 
let them find out what things are hidden. Don't have things closed off. Don't have things desynchronizing, and you know, let people explore the their their world. Let people get their treasures. Let people get their 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 um. Thank you.